So the US is in a bit of a big freeze frenzy at the moment. It's all down to the polar vortex. Talk for a scarf, is that even possible? So the polar vortex is actually over there. It's over the North Pole, but it sometimes undergoes certain changes and it can influence the weather closer to where we live, closer to the ground. And that's what's happening across North America. It's the weather closer to the ground that's cold, not the polar vortex itself. That's 50 kilometers above my head. And it can get really cold. We see scenes like this. Rivers freeze, ice flows down the rivers. We also see train tracks freezing. In fact, they get so cold that they have to light them up just to keep them a little bit warmer to stop them from cracking. Weather officials have warned people not to take deep breaths outside. So none of this. <sighs> and to minimize talking. Talk for a scarf, is that even possible? And can you get frostbite in this sort of temperature? I think you know the answer to that. Of course you can. With wind chills of down to minus 50 degrees Celsius, the surface of your skin could freeze in minutes. Are we gonna see a polar vortex in the UK? Well, it's always there. It just doesn't always bring cold weather. But it has brought cold weather in the past.